Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to do the annual maintenance on the UV Dynamics um, 320 or the whole series of uh, UVD 180 all the way up to the UVD 485. The procedure is exactly the same. So this is a UVD 320 here and uh, this is what we'll be using as our model. So a couple things to get ready before you start the procedure. You'll need a re replacement ultraviolet bulb because they only last a year and it needs to be replaced. You'll need um, some clean cloths. You'll need a bucket to capture some of the water that's uh, flowed out. And uh, you'll need a cleaning product, um, CLR like this, or you can use vinegar or lime away product like that. So the, the ballast has probably started beeping at this point because after a year is up, it'll start to beep to warn you. Now if it's beeping and that beeping is annoying you because you're not ready to, uh, to, to change the, uh, the bulb at this point, then you can always, um, it has a seven day override, so just push the button and it'll silence the beeping. The unit will still keep on working for those seven days, but it gives you time to get your supplies together. So once you're all set to go, then the first thing you need to do is shut off the water. So hopefully you checked my other video and uh, in this series on how to install a unit like this and you put a ball valve in ahead of this. If you don't have a ball valve, then what you'd probably have to do is shut off your water supply. You may, it may actually have to just shut off the pump if that's the only way that you can shut it off. Okay, then hopefully again you've got a ball valve installed after all this. So again, you would shut off the ball valve to isolate this area. Then the next step would be as you unplug the ballast, you want to get power down the ultraviolet light. Now it may be quite warm, so you may want to leave it for a few minutes um, so it can cool down. The next step would be to undo the filter housing here, unscrew it, and then that would drain all the water out of the lower portion here of the system. And um, then what you need to do is uh, remove the bulb and the glass sleeve. So it's powered down now, so you can un undo this uh, nut at the top and you'll see the whole unit pops up because there's a spring inside. And uh, now you can't touch the ultraviolet light bulb itself, the glass portion of it, but you can touch the ceramic ends. So if you lift it up, grab it by the ceramic end and then gently pull the, the electrical cap off. It's just four pins, it just pushes straight in. And then again, grabbing your rag, you can pull that right straight out. Now the bulb actually fits inside a quartz sleeve and the quartz sleeve is where the water flows over during the disinfection process. So what you need to do is you need to unscrew this uh, gland nut at the top. Now it should have been installed finger tight so it, you shouldn't need any tools but if you do you can use uh, something like this to uh, loosen it up. And then you can pull this out again grabbing the quartz sleeve with, uh, with a clean cloth and pull this out. Now this, this um, needs to be cleaned, this quartz sleeve. It needs to be perfectly clean in fact. So you can use a product like I say a CLR or something like that to clean the outside. If you can't get it clean then you'll need to replace this quartz sleeve because if this quartz sleeve is dirty the ultraviolet light won't have the intensity to shine through that dirty sleeve and still kill the bacteria. So that's an important step. So to remove the sleeve from the gland nut you just twist it um, it's not threaded in or clipped in any, any way, you just twist it and remove it. Inspect this uh, O-ring, make sure it's still in good shape. If not, you can replace it. Clean the quartz sleeve as I mentioned earlier. Then put a little bit of water on, on the outside of the quartz sleeve as a lubricant. And then gently slide that in. Again, the quartz sleeve is quite fragile, so slide it in until it butts right up to the top edge of the gland nut. And then again, using your cloth so you don't get any fingerprints on it, make sure of course that the spring stays inside. And then we'll slide that back in. Hand tighten that. Like so. And then the new bulb we would insert at this point. So again, grabbing it with our clean cloth, Handling it only at the quartz end, at the sorry ceramic ends. Slide that down. And then we can line up the pins on the top. And make our electrical connection. There we go. Slide the whole thing down. Tighten up this um, this nut or this bolt on the outside. Again, it's only plastic, so just tighten it slightly, just enough to hold the the cap in place. Once you've completed that side of it, leave this ball valve closed, but open up this ball valve 
Oh, just open it partially at first to fill the whole system. At this point, you've replaced the filter inside here. You've tightened up this filter housing, and now you've filled up the whole system and make sure that there's no leaks. Once you make sure there's no leaks, you can open up this ball valve fully and then plug in the, the ultraviolet, uh, the, the ballast. Now you need to reset that ballast so again, it will start to warn you a year down the road. So to do that, you push the button on the front and while you're holding it down, you apply the power to the unit. Once you've done that, it'll beep three times to tell you that it's reset and that it's now in service. I usually give it about a minute or so to power up and to, uh, so the bulb comes up to uh, full intensity. Once uh, that's happened, then you can open up uh, the water flowing to the house. And then the next step would be to do the disinfection. Again, there's a video in this series that shows you how to disinfect an ultraviolet light. The disinfection process is the same, doesn't matter what brand you have. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos as they become available in this series and on my channel. Or if you need more information, you can go to our website at www.thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.